Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my ranking slash uh, review for the three uh, Hallmark uh, Christmas in July films. Uh, I'm not sure if I've uploaded any of them to the channel. I know I didn't do the last two, but I can't remember if I'd uploaded my I guess my grown up Christmas my grown up Christmas list. Um, so if I do come across the videos on my phone, I'll just delete them. I'll just make this sort of a whole review slash ranking for them. Uh, because I like to get it out. I'm going to probably upload it tonight. Uh, me filming it that way, it's out and uh before the new batch starts for this month this coming month um so uh i will say first off they were all good for this uh for this month um each one was a little bit different uh and i will say uh, one Definitely, for me personally, felt like it should have been more of like a, sort of like a mini-series in a way. And I think that would have been interesting if they would have actually uh, tried that out to see how that would go. Um, but it still, with that being said, it still was a good one. Uh, unfortunately, that's the one that starts off our list. I'm going from my least favorite to... My most favorite and at number three because there's only three um is uh my grown-up christmas list um this one is like i said i don't know if i reviewed it on my channel or not already but this is the one where uh a this girl comes home for christmas and she ends up uh starting to fall in love with this um, guy that she meets while she's just sort of sitting out on a bench by herself and uh, each year it it jumps years you know you, and that's why I say I feel like this could have took place that's one of the reasons why I feel like this could have took place better with a mini series in a way because you jumped three or four different years because it would jump from one Christmas to the next. Um, but they end up getting together, obviously. And um, he ends up being in the military. So it's just basically them trying to get together, be together on Christmas. Um, and that's pretty much what the movie's about. You don't really get a lot of romance dramas in the sense of uh an argument between them maybe they set maybe they split and then come back together or somebody tries to come in between them you don't get any of those kind of cliche you know cliche hallmark things with this one it this is more of a a dramatic one where they're just trying to he's wanting to come home for christmas but he can't because he's a way for training people because he's higher up in the military and the title basically don't really have anything to do with the movie. That was another drawback for me on this one was the title really just didn't signify what the movie was about. Um, don't know why they called it that. A grown up, my grown up Christmas list because it there was nothing to do with any of that. Um, also. Like I said, outside of, other than it feeling more like it should have been in like a mini-series, it sort of, you got the Christmas feel, but not like I really would want from a Hallmark Christmas movie, me personally. Um, I felt definitely like we could have got a little, a little more, uh, but I think that was intentional due to the fact that, you know, they weren't always together when it's kind of jumping through the Christmas seasons pretty quickly for the most part um and when it came to the dramatics the dramatics of it 
it felt like it could have been done a little bit better. Like we, it, it could have been dived into a little bit deeper, and we could have felt the, uh, this, you know, the anxiety or the, you know, the sadness to each scene. Um, I just felt like it just was so fast paced because they're trying to fit everything into that hour and a half friend time that it just didn't. Uh, I guess it would just explode too fast, surprisingly, for this one. Um, it, I think the chemistry, though, was really good, like I said, and the potential was there. Um, when I originally rated it, I gave it, I think it was a four. Um, four out of five. I'm going to stick with that, and I will say I could probably go down to a three out of five for this one for me personally. I do, like I said, it is number three for me. It, it, it is the weakest, so, um, but, you know, it is, they tried. They tried something different, but for me, it just didn't work out. It just didn't give me that Christmas feel like I was hoping for, for a Christmas in July uh, movie. Um, at number two, I had the one, the newest one I just watched this past weekend, which I hadn't reviewed yet, so this will be my court sort of first reviewing of it, and that is Christmas in Toyland, which has a, a woman who is sent to observe this toy store cause the, and try to figure out what the toy store is doing correctly. And to see if they can replicate it in their other stores because they're trying to save all their... She's trying to save all their brick and mortar stores because the company is wanting to shut them all down and go completely online. And so when she gets there, uh, she meets the owner, which is her love interest. And um, she tries to get him to help her figure out the numbers and all this. Look at the books and figure out what to do. He's very kind of pushing her off. You know, he doesn't want nothing to do with it until he finds out that if he doesn't, then they're going to be shutting the doors. Um, and you, uh, by the end of it, they end up basically shutting the doors anyways to him. So it almost kind of felt like the movie was kind of a waste, sort of, but not ex not necessarily, not entirely, um, because in shutting the, the doors, he, she ends up, uh, following her dreams, and, because she doesn't agree with what the company had did, and he ends up being able to follow, uh, I guess you could say his dream, and open up his own, uh, I think it's like a, his own toy store, and not be part of a big franchise. Um, so, in a way, it was good, um, and wasn't a complete waste of the story, uh, and this one, it does focus some on the relationship, but definitely, fo for me, I thought it focused more, a lot more on the business side of it, of trying to save the business, um, but it definitely, you definitely still felt the, the romance mixed in, mixed in with it. I think the chemistry was fine. Um, I didn't think it was horrible or nothing. Uh, but And it definitely had more of a Christmas feel than my grown-up Christmas list. Um, and it, the title actually matched the movie. So, this film for me got a 4.5 out of 5. And it pretty well stayed. It's not changed for me. I think, it, it, I think it's is the second best uh, for the Christmas in July films. Um, I do wish, and I'll talk about that in a second, I have my issues with these first, the two I've talked about so far, and I'll tell you why in just a second when I talk about my number one. But I would definitely say, you know, if, if this one came out, even you know, either singly or uh, in a double feature or triple feature set for Christmas, at, you know, this year or, or next year, then I would definitely pick this one up. My grown-up Christmas list, maybe not. Now, if it was in a double feature set with something I liked, 
then yeah, I would pick it up, obviously. But if it just is released singly, then we'll just have to see. Because like I said, it wasn't my favorite, and I don't know if I personally could watch it again. So unless something changed by the time it got a, a, a physical release announcement, then it I probably wouldn't pick it up. Like I said, unless it was in like a combo set. But, um, but yeah, I definitely recommend... Uh, Christmas in Toyland. I, I personally liked it. Um, and I thought it gave a good Christmas feel. And I just, I did enjoy the story, you know. And it didn't solely focus on the, the relationship completely. So, you know, the kiss at the end and stuff, it was what it was. It didn't bother me. I was fine with all that. So, but now my number one, which I did review, but I've not uploaded it. And that is, um... Campfire Christmas. To me, this is my number one because for well, a couple of reasons. One, it blended a nice mix of comedy with the romance. Um, the acting was well done, which most of the time the acting is pretty well in all Hallmark movies. I don't have an issue with the acting. But the acting was good. Chemistry was good. Um, now they did have... Uh, a gay couple in this just in case you're not comfortable watching that um and but for me the reason this is also number one and this is the problem i have with the other two is i loved that this was a christmas film that took place in july it was summer they were at a camp and the camp was just decorated as christmas it wasn't December, November. It wasn't cold weather. It, you know, this actually took place in July. It was a Christmas movie set in July. They're, they go to this camp where they used to work at and stuff as, as teenagers and, and uh, I guess go to as kids probably even. And uh, the... The girl's parents, or the, our main girl's parents runs it. They're thinking about, sh they're wanting to shut it down. So they, they're doing one last, basically, hurrah. And um, they're doing all, like, you know, snowball fights and just different, like, different events, Christmas events. They put on a, a play and stuff or a musical or whatever. And it just, it has that Christmas in July feel. And... That's what I think Hallmark really needs to focus on. Because when you're doing Christmas in July, for me, I want the movie to be set in the summer, but have Christmas themes. I don't want a movie that I feel like I should be watching in, you know, during their, their big, long Christmas marathon, because that they start in, like, in October. Um, I want something that feels like I'm, it's summer, but... It's still Christmas. And the other two didn't give me that. This one did. And that's what I really loved about it. Um, I gave this one a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed it. This one had uh, Corbin Blue in it as the uh, the, lead, the male lead. And he did uh, great in it. Uh, hopefully he'll maybe do more i think he had one last year or year before or something like that he that he did um i can't remember exactly when it was but he had done another one i think for him so maybe he'll start become if, when, when he's not doing whatever he does in the rest of the time whether it's what you say it was broadway or something he did yeah he is broadway uh so i guess whenever he's not doing broadway maybe he can work with hallmark some more uh because i mean he 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 did really good. There was great chemistry between him and the main uh, girl. Um, and there was just chemistry all throughout. Uh, now, there was one scene, one thing they did sort of touch on, but didn't go in-depth with too big. And that was a sort of a, some drama between this couple that was their, their, their friends. This, their, they'd been married for a while. And they're one's wanting kids, and the guy isn't, and so there's like some tension drama there. They dive a little bit into it, but they don't go fully into it. They kind of like 
get over that fairly quickly and and focus more on the fact that the camp's shutting down and and all this kind of stuff so you know you could say maybe they put a little too much in there i think they could have left that out but it didn't for me hurt the movie it's just something i think that could have been left out that they, they didn't need that extra drama because you also got sort of a drama between the gay couple because they were like rivals camp rivals and turned out that you know basically they liked each other the whole time so uh you get a little bit of some slight drama there but uh you could say they probably like i said you could say they probably done a little too much but still i enjoyed it a lot it is my number one uh and I would definitely be picking this up on physical when it, if if and when it gets released, cause uh, which to me, if I was Hallmark, I would just do a triple feature set with all their Christmas in July movies. I mean, I don't know what they'll how they'll want to do it. I know, I know here the last few titles they've been announcing, it's been a lot of double feature sets. So. You know, for me personally, I would see, I would like to see like a Hallmark Christmas in July collection with just all three of them. Make it easier on us, I guess. <laughs> but, who knows. But, Campfire Christmas comes in at number one. And definitely recommend checking it out. But, that is everything for my ranking and reviews for all the Christmas in July films for Hallmark. So, please kind of like and subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for our videos, and we'll see you all in the next one.